G'day everyone. Uh, it occurred to me the, the other day when I was working out how I was going to control the electrics inside uh, my race car that perhaps I could do it a little bit easier than having a bunch of mechanical switches on the dashboard. So I had a look in my box of tricks and I had a 7 inch next gen touchscreen display. So just quickly, I've uh, whipped together this interface, which is essentially a series of buttons which control uh, relays on a relay board. And I've just been going through the configuration of setting up the various buttons and what they do. Uh, there's a debug option on this um, IDE, which allows you to have a quick look at how your, you know, project is tracking. So this is the debugger. And my idea was to have yellow backgrounds or orange backgrounds and the various text on the buttons uh, with the ability to start and stop the vehicle using the touchscreen display. So the sequence of events would be hop in the car, turn the uh, battery on, and you'll be presented with this display on the touchscreen. Um, you would say, oh, we need a lift pump, we need to turn the main fuel pump on, the ECU needs power, then we uh, hit the ignition on button, uh, and then this start button is actually a momentary button, so when you press it and then release, it will just fire the relay for as long as you hold your finger on the button. Um, and then other features, these are fully customizable, uh, as you can see. Um, if you need the terror trip turned on, GPS, um, if you have an electric diff pump, you could turn that on as well. Um, so it made a nice little easy, quick interface using parts that I had laying around. Okay, there's another couple of quick things we can do with the IDE. Um, having control of the touchscreen. If I add another button here, um, we'll drag that button down and we'll give it a name of uh, setup. <clears throat> so the idea is we're going to create a new page. So when you press the setup button, it's going to take us to another page where we can set other information up. Um, and that's done up here in the page section. We'll actually uh, rename this page to be the setup page, just to make things easy. It'll need a button on it, which will take us back to the main page, which is actually at the moment called page zero. So we'll call this one back. And we create a touch press event to say when this button is pressed, go to page, page zero. And back on page zero, when you press the setup button, we want that to go page setup. How simple is that? Essentially, now if we debug this, you'll see quite quickly in the debugger, when we press the setup button, it takes us to the setup page and we can go back to the main page. Um, if I go to the setup page, I'll just show you quickly in the IDE, background color, we can set the color, we can add text to that, <clears throat> and that might be a long bit of text, um, power controller setup. Now that box will need to have these flipped around, so the background is going to be black, the text is going to be white. Um, Another strange thing with the IDE is you actually need to define your fonts. You actually have to create each font that you want to use. Um, so I've created a number of fonts here. So font number four, if we go back to the font picker, you actually need to type in here four. And just to upset some of my friends, I've selected Comic Sans for the controller setup because everyone loves Comic Sans. So now if we debug the application again, clicking on setup will take us to that page, the back button will take us back, 
think some of you may have noticed then that the setup and the back buttons are not lined up. So see how those buttons aren't in the same place. Very easy to fix in the IDE. If we go back to page zero, click on setup, you can see the X and the Y settings there for the button. And when you click on setup, you'll notice that that back button has different values there. If you make them the same, the button will appear in the same place and make it a bit more seamless. Yeah, so here's the uh, relay board, uh, 16 relays, uh, all controlled and opto-isolated. Um, 30 volts DC, 10 amps, these relays are rated to. These boards are very, very cost effective, it's about $18 there. Um, the screen that you can see here, <clears throat> I've actually loaded that um, interface that I created in the IDE on the computer and being a touch screen you can now simply uh, turn on the options that you require at the time um, buttons have two functions this is a dual state button so when you press them once uh, and you can tell it in the interface what color you want them to go these are just a really only took me probably 20 minutes to design this it's all drag and drop it's quite easy this is another dual state button uh, which controls a relay. As you can see when you press it though, the text actually changes and that's very easy to do inside of the design development IDE. Um, this button here is just a, a momentary button, so this would fire the starter motor solenoid. Um, press and hold it down, when you release your finger it stops. So as you can see with just very cheap parts this touchscreen display with a bezel, I think it's about $130 Australian. Um, that being 18 to, 13 to 18 dollars, something like that. Um, very reliable, I've been using these for years for projects. Um, very good quality. Um, you could quite easily design yourself a very nice unit um, to control boat, caravan, race car and fully customise it. Um, yourself it doesn't take too much to learn how to program these devices either which is quite handy